Day six of NaNoWriMo. I'm going to try to get 10,000 words in today. We'll see how it goes. Let's go. Hey, first writing session done, and I haven't gone to my goal of 10,000 words today. But I'm at a good start, and I just came to a little part in the dialogue where I was like, eh, I'll take a break. So I'll get back to writing again today. It's some nice weather for the writings, and I have some nice music stored up, so yeah. Second writing session complete, and I only have um, a little under a thousand words to get to my goal of 10,000 today on this lovely Sunday day. Yeah, I've been finding a lot of good background tracks. I think um, a great idea is if I make a public playlist for y'all of like tracks that I like to listen to in the background um, just for you to scroll through like I would not be producing these but like I would just make the playlist as if it was for me but it's for the public so you all can see. Yeah, tell me what you think on that idea and if you have any suggestions for like tracks you'd like to hear, ambience, uh, background music stuff like that and so i'm doing the right letters from the villain thing and it's going quite well i was actually going to write my first scene where like one of the characters is interacting with the villain and i was like i need to get to know this guy a little better so i just started writing like the letters after the chapters to get an idea of you know his internal conflict and stuff because you really gotta get to know your villains in order to like make them good because so many villains are just so flat and i ain't gonna do that you know so yeah peace i did it i didn't think i could do it but i did it and it's because of daylight savings time it ending you know it's dark outside which is kind of cool to write in i've not done it in a while because you know daylight savings time so yeah how cool is that now my brain needs to take a break from doing such strenuous but fun activities as writing and i've gone to 10,016 ended on an even number you see to 10,016 words so whoop hopefully i can get to 20,000 by the end of the week just keep that ball rolling or 25,000 Ooh, maybe I don't know, now that I'm rolling, hopefully I'll keep rolling and I won't stop. It'll be like a snowball, I'll keep going faster and faster. And my word count will get bigger and bigger. Isn't that the perfect analogy? I love a good analogy, it's like, yeah. Hopefully you guys are going well. Tell me your word counts down below in the comments. And see you tomorrow on my seventh day of NaNoWriMo. That was a weird transition. Hello, welcome to day seven. Yeah, day seven of NaNoWriMo. And it is a day that I'm not gonna be writing at all. I thought it was gonna be, it was raining outside, it was perfect, but I just was not feeling up to it. Like, not emotionally, but just physically. I couldn't really do it. And don't worry, I'm not sick. I'm not depressed or, or anything. But I did receive a visit from a very special aunt this month, as I do every month. So uh, I just could not really write today, or at least get the word count I would have wanted. So I'm going to give a break. Self-care day, you know. But to give you guys something, I should probably talk about my experience so far with NaNoWriMo. It has been a very good experience for me. I think it really helps when I learn to schedule something and set goals. And it especially helps my motivation when I like have a goal set by like outside people, you know, and that I know you won't be res like seeing my work or anything. Maybe I'll let you see some snippets. I don't know. But like, it's just the word count set out like for NaNoWriMo by an outside source. So I think that really helps me. And I've been getting a lot done. I'm definitely going to have to use what I've been doing for future books. Hopefully I'll get my writing done faster and get the same quality that I always desire in my books because I'm kind of a perfectionist. Even though some of you have read my stuff and you know that it ain't perfect. 
but it's a process and even when you aren't like doing well with your writing keep writing because the fact that you're writing is really important even if you get like so many um constructive criticisms about your grammar or even like your first chapter or stuff just keep writing because you learn by doing things so say if you're a young writer and like I was to read your work and I'd be like this reminds me of what I would write when I was like nine or something I would be like okay you, you're gonna have to grow a bit but the thing is you started and you just keep writing because that's how you learn that's how I learned I learned writing from reading a bunch of books like you know not like books about writing but just books in general that I liked and then doing it so that's what I encourage you guys to do today, whether you're doing NaNoWriMo or you're just starting out on your first book. Just write. That's how you learn. My wise words of the day. Ooh, I have a cool line on my face because it's like sunset. Um, wait, wait. Oh. Done with my first writing session of the day, which has been later because I had some stuff to do early in the morning. And actually, like in the mornings when I write the best, so I'm gonna have to keep trying to write. I wrote about like 500 words or so, which I know isn't a lot. Usually my sessions are like a thousand words, which is a lot saying even though before NaNoWriMo, which I know is also a lot of words too. Because every word counts, but usually in my previous writing sessions, like before NaNoWriMo, I'd get like 200 words done. So that's actually a big step to call 500 words a small um, word count for a writing session. So I really accomplished a lot. Wow! <laughs> but in the end, every word counts. And I'll see how much of the story I get done before the month is over. And it was cool because in this chapter, I had to do some world building. And it's really interesting how you can you know, tie in world building without like info dumping. Um, it's actually really fun. I should make a video about that. Tell me if, in the comments if I should make a video on how to like write in world building without, you know, dumping it all on you. So hopefully I'll write again later. I don't know. I have something going on this night, but you know what? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Hey. Second writing session, didn't get a lot done. I mean, I almost got a thousand words. Almost. Which, you know, every word counts. Keep that in mind. And I know I'm losing a bit of my momentum, but don't worry, I'll get back on track. And I just, I'm here to do my best and to try it. I mean, I'm not, I'm talking like I'm not going to get to 50,000 words. Who knows? I probably won't, maybe. But I'm going to keep trying, and you should too. Hey guys, first writing session of the day, and I feel pretty good about it. I'm at a really sort of action-packed kind of part. Um, it's hard to explain. Well, basically, characters are going through an obstacle course for like a test and stuff. So I'm actually really excited. I was listening to this like track of music that was called... Basically, it was a lot of... It was a music that made you feel kind of powerful, like a badass, basically... Yeah, I said it. I'll just bleep it out. It's not really a big deal, but I don't know who's watching this. I actually, like, I wrote a good amount of words. Not quite a thousand, but, like, I'm not, I'm, like, 11,000 and 300 words. I was actually at 299 words, but, like, I had this contraction. One of the characters said, you, you're, like, as you are. So I just made it you are, because, you know, even numbers. And so it's been pretty good. I had to do some research because I wanted to look up some like Greek names and stuff because the world is actually medieval Greek, sort of. Like there's a, some Greek elements, especially in like their past. But I wanted to like not just do medieval fantasy because so many people do that. And I wanted to have like a little bit of a Greek flair to the world because, you know, I love, like, Greek mythology and researching Greek stuff and, like, Greek combining forms. That's basically the magic system. But that's my update. Ho I will update you later. So it is the next day. I didn't get to writing another session yesterday because, you know, life. This week has not been very successful. Kind of a hold back. I'm hoping to get a lot done this weekend. So, 
We'll see how that goes. I feel like I'm making a bunch of empty promises, but I'm gonna keep on going. So, yeah. <laughs> never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down, never gonna turn around and desert you. I probably botched those lyrics, but you know, I'm not the best person to go to when you want to rickroll someone, which I just did to y'all, sort of, in my own way. But enough about me, or Rick, I probably won't get in another writing session today. Just saying, don't want to make any pie crust promises. If you don't know what that term means, look it up. So... Yeah, everyone keep writing. Don't get discouraged. Hello, first writing session of the day. I think it went pretty well. Definitely gonna write again soon. I really liked how this turned out. On to the next chapter. On to many a glorious time. Hopefully I will finish this um, very unproductive week strong. I mean, I've technically been more productive this week than I usually am with writing, but you know, compared to last week. But hey, I'm trying, and I'm never gonna give up. I'm never gonna let it down. I'm never gonna- Hi guys. Just had a quick, short writing session. Just get more done, you know? My camera looks weird. I look a little shiny. Be a cool effect to have, but eh, it's kinda weird. Wow, so weird. But anywho. Yep, just updating you. Yes, I'm watching a Christmas movie before Thanksgiving. I'm just in that mood today, and none of y'all can do anything to stop it. It's a good movie. Christmas movies are so wholesome and amazing, and I want Christmas right now. <sighs> yes, I am that type of person who like gets all in the spirit the day after Thanksgiving. You'll see for yourself. Back to the movie. This lighting's kind of cool. Look at it. I like have a sword. It's like a comet in like midair. That's kind of dope. Anyway, um, so today I wrote earlier and then I just wrote this evening. This video is not going to be out on Saturday. Probably tomorrow, maybe Monday. I don't know but I have written like 14,000 and 300 and something words since the beginning of NaNoWriMo. I thought I was going to be way over that word count um, by week two but life happens so I'm still pretty good. Hopefully tomorrow I'll get to over 15,000 which is still something. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do my best, keep rolling. Everybody, tell me how your NaNoWriMo project are going down. Um, everybody, tell me how your projects are going in the comments. Um, love to talk with y'all. If you want to see more and see the series continue, subscribe to this channel to see week three and week four of NaNoWriMo. And also to see, you know, what I, week one of NaNoWriMo. If you're just watching week two of NaNoWriMo, I'm, yeah, you confuse me, human. Keep working on your stuff, never give up, and remember, Jesus loves you.